Well, hello guys and welcome to another episode on our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And just following on from our vlog yesterday, I'm just doing a bit of a triangle. You know, Scott, uh, Elgin's about six or seven miles from the coast. So we headed off up to Burghead, came down through Hopeman, and then obviously we landed up here at uh, Lossiemouth. And just as I was driving, I thought, you know, so man, we really need to get a Scottish tour since we're here, you know, and give you a little look around because, as you can see, it's very, very beautiful indeed. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to give you a quick look from up here for a little while, head out the harbour and the marina and then hopefully we're going to end up back down there, you know, where you see the, the footbridge going across and uh, that should give you just a lovely view of Lossie Mike, you know, but very nice indeed. So let's jump back on the bike as well. Now check that out for a church building, hey? Yeah, so let's go on. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think that's the owners just there. I thought they were just visiting. Isn't it just beautiful? I really like it. Oh man, that'd be nice. You never know. Maybe it's about th three quarters of a million or something that place. I bet you. Yeah. Way out of my price range. Oh, I'm gonna scare a kitty just in case, guys. Oh, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, you just can't go wrong down here. Yes, yeah, so on yesterday's vlog, which I'm just following on from just now, um, we did have a look at the West Beach. I'm not going to head back down there again. We'll just head out the harbour. We've actually got two, kind of got a harbour area, and then you've got a, what they call a marina. Changed a few years ago. And I'll show you the seafront. And then we'll head down to Sea Town Footbridge. That should be quite nice. And again, as always, guys, in these videos, you know, if any of you are sort of housebound or in hospital, I know that feeling, big style, you know. And I just hope you really enjoy, you feel a part of it. This is what we do. Yeah, um, motorbike vlogging's been a, a big part of my, um, my rehab, I have to say. Really, really good. Makes a huge difference. There's DNI Tropical, that's my dude, that's where we get all our fish and fish bits from. You take the advice of guys like him. Let me tell you. Yeah, you just have to watch yourselves on these crossovers. It's kind of, bl it's like it blocks this place. Really, really wide road. But of course, these roads here in particular have got to be wide, you know, because they're shifting boats. And quite big boats at that, I have to say. But I might take you down. Oh, yeah, I might as well. I'll probably rattle my fillings out, but um, I'll take you down to the harbour. Let's have a quick look. See if the gateway is open. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it is. Lossy Mouth Coastal Rowing Club, eh? Oh man, this is going to be something. Wait, see. So, I'm sure it's cobbly stones, you know, like we're seeing here. But I'll do it for you guys, eh? I'll do it for you. Oh man, yeah. This is going to be a bumpy ride. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Here we go. Stuff it. I'm sure the fire blade will survive, eh? Uh, don't go too fast. Maybe we could have walked this actually. This maybe has a bit of a bad idea, but never mind. I'm sure we'll survive. <laughs> right, okay. I'm officially a dipstick. I'm not going down that way. <laughs> that was wild. Yeah. I mean, we walked in this quite a lot. Take the Land Rover over it when we go down for fishing at the pier, you know. But let's get up here, look. Big. Here we go. I'll keep the helmet on. Not keep the wind away, eh? 
nice, eh? You can just see the silhouette of the lawn going way up, look. And it goes way, way up to about there. Yes, there's a lot of boats out of the water for this time of year. This is usually the time. Dudes are rubbing the boat down, giving a paint. Be in there, brother. Yeah, so back we go. I'll just have to endure the rough ride. I'm sure I'll survive, eh? I'm getting no points for common sense today. Eh? I'll slip around here. Get onto this nice big flat bit, look. Trying to smock my helmet off the uh, bow of this boat, look. There we go. That's better. The Ned Kelly. That boy's been sitting there for quite a while. Back and forth, he's obviously needing a little bit of work or something. Right. Right. We'll just, we'll just take this way. Yeah, just trying to find a space, let's see. In fact, I think I'll just park up over on here, eh? Oh, so there we go. And at Bonnie, and of course these pontines are all floating. So I go up and down with a with the tide obviously, but look at what we've got in here today, the lucky gloss to Isla, young Allison. Isn't it nice? Ah, but Loss is a really lovely place, just spot on. It's always a really nice visitor's place, you know? Tourists just love it. Although with all COVID and stuff, it's just not as busy as it used to be. Nice. Then get you down to the waterfront as well. And what I'll do guys, is I normally do is do like a, an extended vlog. Which is just the drive back to Elgin, which I'll tag onto this video. So you're more than welcome to stay on that, if you like. But we're not finished yet. Let's give you a wee look again. So again, River Lossie coming down and round. We're just going to finish the vlog away up there, but we'll just hang on here for a little while. Just the usual, a few tourists around, people enjoying themselves. And along the promenade we go. Now I'm pretty sure that the, it's, it's called the Sea Town Footbridge. I'm pretty sure the Sea Town Footbridge is um, unsafe at the moment. For whatever reason, I don't think you can get across to the dunes unless you can over there sort of thing, you know? Which is something we could do. So what would it be like in low tide? Oh, there's lots of people around today. There we go. So now we're down at the kind of sea town, what they call sea town. We're even sea town. And I think the 20 mile an hour zone here is all because of the, right, all because of the caravan park. So we'll just take it easy. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's actually blocked off. It is. Right.
Yeah, the bridge is blocked. Let's just go a little bit further up then. Never been to this side of the car. I've never been to this caravan park before over this side, but I'm pretty sure it's just all statics. I would imagine. Yeah, I think I don't know what lands what. In fact, we'll just keep going. I'd imagine this is now getting into the caravan's land. I would have said. A little bit of watch ahead here. Boom. Let's see. And look at that. It's usually people across there as well, but obviously. The tide's going out though since we've, we've been sort of hanging about, as you can see. Yeah, I think we'll just get out of here though. This is too off roady for this bike. I didn't think this site would be so busy. Kind of late summer now. There we go. Now hopefully, the start of the video showed you that church spire. And that's where we started off. And there's my house, look directly ahead. Castle McBurney. One day, eh? One day. So let me just pull over and give you a little look at what I can give you a look at. And then we'll head off, eh? It's, it's just oh, it's hot. See when you stop. Oh my goodness. Just when you stop. It's hot. What a view from up there though, eh? Hopefully it'll give you a nicer view over here as well. <coughs> as you can see right there down the waterfront, look. Isn't that beautiful? And obviously that big brick wall there stops lossy falling into the water. But yeah, it's a bummer, I can't, can't get across there. I'm trying to see if there's any seals over there. I don't think there is, it looks like a couple of... Is that a couple of seals? I don't know. Yeah, I will always like the thought in these videos, you know, that... Uh, you know, you're maybe really, you know, you're high spine or something you're stuck in, you know, and hopefully this really gives you a feel. I think the motorbike does it better than the, the car, you know. The motorbike certainly gives it all a different feel, you know. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour around Lossy Mouth. And uh, as per usual, guys, on our channel, we've always got new content, you know, we're trying to do about three or four videos a week. And the same with David and Emily's Barney Family Fun YouTube channel, which is kids only sort of thing. So again, if you've got kids, they're more than welcome to subscribe and enjoy some of the videos there. Goodness me, 24 hour challenges, quad biking, you name it. All good fun. But for now guys, thank you so much. 
Yeah, and of course the end of this video just here guys I'm going to drive home for the extended vlog so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want to hang around for the next sort of 10 15 minutes just drive back to Elgin you're more than welcome yeah so welcome to the extended vlog if you're hanging around probably Elgin's only like six miles away but it's a nice wee drive and you might enjoy the wee drive through the town as well you know I could have picked a better spot to park, obviously, because I knew I have to do about a three-point turn. Well, then the fire blade is normally about a 51, a 50-point turn. Oh, here we go. I don't think, I'm pretty sure this part's a dead end. In fact, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's sort of heading back. Keep it on. That's what these little investigations are all about. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever came down here either walking or in the car for any purpose. Ah, here we go, look. Go this way. Oh, lovely fireweed. Of course, it's getting to that season uh, for us here in Scotland, you know, where we've got the old fireweed, the fire stoves back on again, you know. Getting close. We'll have to get some wood cut the stove because I'll tell you guys what, a, what an amount of money you save on a wood burning stove in the house yeah I think instead of taking the main part home we'll just go this way eh? Esplanade that's what they call it is it Esplanade Esplanade Yeah, uncles and aunties live here, so we've got a few family members around. Can pop in for a quick cup of coffee, as we do in Scotland. Not so much a cup of tea, actually. A cup of coffee, though. So if this dude on the left is just parked up, or whether he's... Ah, he's just parked up. Oh, it's one of those purpose-built motorhomes, look. But yeah, guys, you can see the wind. Not very nice at all to be doing uh, tours and whatnot, you know, but... There's the old uh, Lossie High School over there. The community centre. Oh. That's fine, love. Right. sort of head on down out of the, the Lossy Street as we call it. Yeah, so there's the sun now. Right, let's get out of here. It's a speed pump in a van. I don't think so. I want to pick spawn higher. Ah, it's a nice little bit of sun coming back in, eh? And not one problem with the bike. That's awesome. Yeah, just ease off a little bit here. This junction. Sometimes I've seen people pulling out here without seeing a motorbike, you know? Perfect timing as well, look. Ah, uh, that guy's seen us. Yeah, he has. Always got to be cautious. You just never know. Mm -hmm. A spiny castle. Just over there on the left hand side. I think we should have a really nice video too of that place as well. It was really nice. Oh, I'm loving it. Cool there. Cooling the engine down, cooling me down as well, hopefully. Spiny castle turn off. And have we come across the barrier bend? I'll tell you, there'll be a few crashes over that bend. Especially when I was young. 
that was one tight bend. And of course when you're young you've got to take it as fast as you possibly can. And I see my friends became a cropper. And back in, here we are, it's the last corner. And if you ever we look on the left, what oh, is it going? So I've an old buccaneer fighter jet that sat here for years. But it was put up for sale not that long ago. I wonder if it's still there as it goes on. There's plenty of photos of it I suppose, but no no it's still there. There you go look. The Buccaneer. The Buccaneer service station. Instead of going left, which I normally take, well I head down this way, yeah? And nice up blocks of houses there. A lot of real traditional buildings in this town, you know. Oh, big hay lorry, look at this. He's going to go left. I'm going to like to go straight on. We're in the green. We'll take our time just in case anybody's got any wrong ideas. Oh, traffic lights. Yeah, if I'm heading off to the right, we would have right back down to where we started within about two minutes. We'll take a different way back, eh? Oh, and it stayed green. Spot, oh, just in time, look at that. Eh, just in time. Oh my good, goodness me. That was like two chicanes. Yeah, Cooper Park off there left. There's some few guys out with their bikes today. Learning. Either that, they've got the provisional license and they're allowed to drive on the road, which is awesome for us bikers. Then here we go into the bypass. I think I will just take this way, you know that? Yeah, just hang on. Oh, I wonder if I go through the high street, eh? As well, her little high street. Yeah, we'll go through the high street, eh? See what's going on. Front of, the, front of one of the big shop buildings actually was coming down. So we've had this kind of tarpaulins up for quite a while. You'll, you'll maybe see it if they're still up. It's such a shame because this is a really, really beautiful high street. Yeah, let's look at the old red. Oh. Yeah, they're still covered. The bike isn't running as smooth as I'd like either. I'm not happy. Yeah, look at the shame. Of course, you see the St Giles Centre there. So just look at that. Just bony, bony, bony. So the fire blade sounds nice. Nice and slow through here, just in case. Now watch out for the kiddies. Eh? Watch out for the kiddies. Oh, a wee step off the bike. I'll just lift my bum off. Go with these speed bumps. Oh. I do not like them on the fire blade. There we go. Best fish and chips around, look, the Ashvale. Oh, these some lovely fish. We'll shut the visor again, actually, it's a, bit, it's a bit windy still. Oh, 
my uncle's centre. One of my favourite places. Yes, it's pretty safe to see us about our say. We're just getting close to home now. So listen guys, as always, just want to thank you so much for watching. Um, again, we're just adding new videos all the time, trying to build the channel, so you know, I hope you I certainly hope you enjoy. Lots of fishing videos coming, wild camping, oh, you name it guys. We'll be doing it. But for now I'd like to get home and get these flipping bike boots off. So for now guys, God bless and thank you so much.